Hi friends, welcome to your virtual art room. For the last few weeks, we've been working on how to draw a complicated object, like a person, by breaking it down into simpler shapes. I have a new artist to introduce to you today. His name is Huang Huang, and he's 25 years old from Vietnam. He makes these incredibly cool drawings of insects using simple shapes. I asked him about his artwork and why he chose insects, and he says he's always loved animals and spent a lot of time looking at insects when he was young. Huang Huang describes his style as minimalist. That means he doesn't use a lot of complicated shapes. He tries to keep his drawings as simple as possible. You'll see that when you look at his work. Wang Wang was generous enough to send me this beautiful sketch that he made for one of his projects. In it, you can see the geometric shapes that he used to build his design. Can you match this sketch to the finished insect on his website? I've included a link to Wang Wang's artwork in the description of this video. Pause this video and spend a few minutes looking at Wang Wang's artwork, then come on back so you can start working on your own insect. Ready to start making some art? The first thing that you're going to need to do is find a picture of an insect that you think is really interesting. If you have a book with pictures at home, you could use that. Or you could visit the University of Texas Austin's website. They have a lot of different photographs of some really interesting insects. Another resource is the National Museum of Natural History. They have a collection of photographs of insects as well. I'm including links to both websites so that you have a lot of options and a good chance of finding an insect that you like. You'll need the following supplies for this project. A piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. A ruler is helpful but not necessary. You'll also need something to color with. I'm choosing paints, but you can use whatever you want. Begin with a pencil sketch of your insect. Your insect does not have to look exactly like the photograph. Make sure that you include the head, thorax, and abdomen, as well as the legs and antenna of your insect. If your insect has wings, you should include those too. As you sketch, simplify the parts of the insect into shapes. Look at my legs for example. You can see how I have broken the legs into three parts, one curved triangle, a skinny oval, and another curved triangle at the end. Similarly with the body, I have one large shape with an M at the top, and each side of the body has a simple teardrop shape. The pattern on the insect's body in the photo is a little more detailed, but I broke it down into simple circle shapes. You can also include a plant, a leaf, or a flower for your insect to sit on. Here I've included a simple leaf shape. Don't include a lot of detail in the background. Save your smaller shapes for the insect's body. Once you've finished your sketch, it's time to color. As you color your insect, pay close attention to the colors you see in the photograph and try to copy those colors onto your drawing. I hope you had fun drawing your insects today, friends. I can't wait to see how they turn out. I'll see you next week.